Connecticut Sun in this one as they go up against the Chicago Sky. With Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. WNBA semifinals and it's single elimination. What are your thoughts on this format, fellas? I absolutely love it, Blake. The intensity in these games is second to none. And after tonight, one team will go home and one will advance. Talk about postseason pressure. I'm with you, Tim. I'm a sucker for do or die games. It's certainly challenging for coaches and players, but isn't that part of the excitement? And I think that excitement is what fuels our passionate WNBA fans. Now here's Charles. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. Sinks the triple. They get the first bucket. Three and no hope that sets the tone at the offensive end going forward. Yeah, sometimes that first bucket can, can really set a tone, as you said, for the rest of the game. Outside, Quigley. Jones outside. Let's the three fly. Drops in the tray. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Back to Johnson. Outside Charles. Off the mark there with the three. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Now here's Johnson. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Good work defensively by Candace Parker. Now Quigley. Vandersloot outside. to Quigley. Goes up at the stripe. A rebound by Charles. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whiffs on an open jumper. Allie Quigley with the steal. Pass to Parker. Shoots over Thomas. A uh, shot by Parker, no good. Outside Charles. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Parker with the ball. Pass to Jones. Now here's Quigley. Here's Parker, guarded by Charles. Launches it. And Candace Parker gets the three. I like the confidence we're seeing from Parker here. She knows which shots are in her range and which ones aren't. And the Sun call time here. Well, the coaches, they clearly don't like what's going on there, and they want to talk things over. And why wouldn't they talk things over? I mean, really, you had to take a timeout there and just try to take away some of the opponent's momentum.
substitution for the sun. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Well, because of Bonner's detailed offensive approach, she can take advantage of even the slightest defensive mischief. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. one at the line is good just such a fun player to watch you have to respect how much Bonner has improved she didn't make her first all-star game until her seventh season in the league that one falls so she hits both of them first quarter of play and we're about three minutes in outside inside the shot by Hebert no good if they could end every possession with that shot they'd be happy because nine times out of ten that's an easy layup Thomas outside the tray that doesn't fall either she's missed her first two shots of the night Slewed outside. Yeah, she had an established position. And that's the call you want the refs to make in that situation. If there's any doubt at all, it should be a block. I agree. Give the offense the benefit of the doubt. And the Sun making a change here. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first. Here's Vandersloot. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up, shots next. More of a distributor than a scorer, but Vandersloot can still attack defenses in her own right. That's her first trip to the line. At the line for your Chicago Sky, Courtney Vandersloot at the line for two. Shooting two. He's off on the first. After being named an all-star during her rookie campaign in 2011, Courtney Vandersloot didn't go to a, another all-star game until 2019. Just goes to show you she stayed hungry throughout her tremendous career. Second free throw, no good. Connecticut trailing. Puts it up from 12. Bonner inside. She's covered by Jefferson. Bonner can't hit. Pass to Heber. And it's Ruthie Heber with the jam. Put herself in a great position to finish that break off. Yeah, and that right there is just a great read of how the play was developing and where the ball was going. Such high basketball IQ. Now here's January. Tries again. And another shot. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Pass to Hebert. Smith. No good from outside. Now January. Here is Bonner. And she drops in the layup off glass. Good D, but uh, guess what? Bonner's height at 6'4", coupled with her touch and leaping ability, make her dangerous down low. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Sky out in front. They're up by four. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. The 
second quarter beginning in just a moment. And when you consider how the Sky are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Good effort. Very tight defense from them through the first quarter. Really a big part of why they are up right now. You know, their defense has been on point. And your Smith. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Quigley. Count that bucket. Whoa, the long ball. Allie Quigley has no fear to let it fly. It's in her DNA to shoot. Here's Heidemann. Nailed from three-point land. Look, I'm not sure who was supposed to pick her up, but someone's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving her that wide open. Pass to Smith. To the middle. Here's Hebert. It's good for her second make. This is three so far. Well, the lead should be safe. I mean, if they just keep shooting like this. Yeah, they're on fire and really looking to pad that lead. Tipped. Hebert outside. Here's Quigley. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Stevens. Good on the triple. Loves to grow and improve. Stevens is always looking to add another wrinkle to her game, and that catch and shoot's pretty deadly. Now a timeout Time called by myself. Connecticut. Yeah, I think the coach is watching a lot of shots they normally make rimming out, and it has to be frustrating. Maybe see if they could create some scoring opportunities at the free throw line. That may be the answer for them, but you know, ultimately, I expect them to shoot their way out of this slump. second with about a minute and a half gone by. Chicago in the lead. Now Smith. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Dolson, shot's good. A solid 6-5 player. Dolson has the mentality, more importantly, to, to be a, a great big in this league, not phased by contact. Here's Thomas. And she can't stop the run as that misses. Now here's Jones. Off target from outside. Charles with it. And here's Peters. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Here's Smith, Johnson defending. Sun foul, Stella Johnson. First personal foul, team's first. First team foul. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Madison Smith taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Second, so she makes both. 
And so here is Connecticut. A 12-point game. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. Bonner outside. And there's the whistle. That goes on goal. That's her first foul. Sky making a switch here. First team foul. Into the lineup for Chicago. Courtney Mendersen. Bonner, guarded by Dolson. Bonner, good. Not afraid to do work in the trenches. Bonner has a nice touch around the rim. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Vandersloot. Defense right on him. Quigley. And that one's good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. Peters, Parker defending. Back to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Over Parker. And that one comes up a bit short. Stephanie Dolson, high post. And finished off by Stephanie Dolson. You know, over the second half of her career, Parker's assist numbers have increased significantly, thanks in large part to her savvy. Bonner outside, and stolen by Dolson. Here's Quigley. Here's Dolson. Fast to Quigley. Just five to shoot. There's the triple. Buries it from three-point range. They've owned the offensive glass here in the second. Yeah, making a point at getting in there and battling for missed shots. Now Johnson looking for her first basket still in this one. And good that time. Johnny. Oh, man. She is so good at making those lead passes. Four seconds separating the shot and game box. Pass to Jones. Now here's Vandersloot. Beyond the arc. And again, it's Chicago with a three. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right. Three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Bonner outside. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Sky out in front. They lead by 18. Hold tight. We've got more basketball action headed your way. so far, but we'll see if that changes. Allie Quigley has been sensational. Her play in the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right, and uh, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. Right side, Parker. Doesn't go that time. And Connecticut will go the other way with it. Pass to Charles. So the 
whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. First person. It's going to go on Candace Parker. First team foul. And this is her first free throw of the game. Kyla Charles taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. off as well so she misses both Chicago with the ball 18 points separating the teams and that's the biggest lead of the game Steve Andersloo for three connects from three-point range these defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot and it's killing them for the last five makes coming from long range outside Charles Pass to Johnson. Poked away. She's off on that one. The sky go the other way with it. Right side Parker. Now Dolson. She's covered by Thomas. 12 feet out, the Sun pull it in. Johnson outside. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the Still third quarter. Johnson. And the layup's good off the glass. No mistake on that one, good work all around. Time called here, the Sky decide to talk it over. to Vandersloot. Now Smith. And that comes off the assist by Courtney Vandersloot. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Fires for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Finding the right pass. We see the experience of January. Pass to Vandersloot. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And again, it's the sky from deep. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Guarded by Dolson. And the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for us. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. So they are having their way down low right now. And the sky making a change here. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. 
shot. has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their reach. Here's Vandersloot. Takes the three. Jones and again, the it's the sky from deep. Boy, right. That's five straight made three-pointers. The defense giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide-open threes but they just aren't figuring it out. You go out there and tell them, Brian. Okay, maybe I will. And the Sun call time here. Oh, the coach needs to get him back into a flow offensively. Things have slowed down. And they're starting kind of to, to force their shots. Yeah, things have snowballed on them here. You know, the misses just started piling up. I like this timeout to sort of calm down the team and get reset. January. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. She's covered by Jefferson. Here's Thomas. The shot will not fall. Azaray Stevens with some nice D. Ebert in the post. Rolls back up. And she sinks the layup. You gotta give them credit for the job they've done on the boards. Well, guys, they've done a lot of things well, but their rebounding is right at the top of the list. Fires from deep. Hands it from downtown. Nothing on the court that January doesn't see. I mean, you might think it's February, given the love she's showing her teammates with those passes. Jefferson outside to the inside. A shot by Hebert, no good. The Sun on offense. Vandersloot defending. January with it. Knocked away. Stolen by Ruby Hebert. And here is Vandersloot. Jefferson outside. Pass to Vandersloot. No good on the triple. She's covered by Jefferson. Jefferson pulls it in. Here's Smith. She's got eight. Misses the wing jumper. Here's Thomas. As we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's this guy delivering the blowout. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, she's always the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are her bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When she's running the show, she makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. Johnson outside. Thomas outside. That's tipped. Now Hebert. Anderson. 
Vandersloot outside. Pass to Jefferson. Vandersloot outside. Parker. Tries from 10 and misses it off the right side of the rim. Being that close to the hoop, I thought she had enough room to nail that one. Johnson with it. Three-pointer. Sinks the three-pointer. Johnson. I mean, the only explanation is someone must have gotten their signals crossed if she winds up that wide open in three-point range. Now, I'm sure that was not the plan. To the wing on the left. Jefferson left side. And the Sun pushing it up now. Peter's shot's Aaron good. Peters. As soon as that steal was made, there was nothing they could really do to stop the break. And that's why turnovers will kill you. It gives your coach a headache and puts you at such a disadvantage defending. And that's what every team wants, easy points. Time called here. The Sky decide to talk it over. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. over a minute played here in the fourth. Pass to Parker. Jones outside. Vandersloot gets a three-pointer to fall. And Vandersloot can't make this shot, especially when the defense isn't guarding her very tightly. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. A slight rebound advantage to them. One more column in their favor. It's all adding up. Well, you look across the team stats, it's one of many areas they're winning. And they've secured a big lead. It looks very to sharp tonight. I'm loving it. Timeout called the Sun. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Johnson outside. Pass to Thomas. Guarded by Dolson. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Here's Jones. Count the basket. Well, look, there's not a whole lot you can do about that move. I mean, they were all over her, and she still managed to drain it. Outside Charles. Yeah, 
Down low. Foul <laughs> call that time on the way up. And give her two chances at the second person foul. First I like when Thomas challenges the defense, the showing side. confidence in looking to score and drawing the foul. At the line for two. Shoot two. No good on the free throw. A physical point forward, Thomas shows a complete game. She can rebound, defend, and she's a monster on the break. That one misses. And they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. Pass to Jones. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. It's not going to go for her. And Connecticut will come the other way. Outside Charles. tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. And so here's Connecticut. Three on the clock. To halt the run! Johnson can't get it to go. We played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Jones outside. The Sun pull it in. Now here is Charles. Pass to Thomas. Back to Charles. Johnson. Good on the three-point shot. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. And so it's Chicago with it. Outside, Quigley. Now here's Dolson. Five to shoot. Here's Jones. That three off target had some space there after the little pump bait. Now here's Charles, guarded by Quigley. Pass to Peters. Johnson outside. Let's it go from deep. And Jones pulls it down. Quigley with it. No problem for Chicago as they get the win. 